Hello and welcome to another episode of Moose's Gear Goo Review. I'm Moose and today I'm doing an open tag challenge. Uh, the challenge is the knife that broke you or the open tag is the knife that broke you. Um, and that is put out by Slicey Dicey. He has an awesome uh, knife channel. Uh, highly recommend you guys check it out if you're into knives. Uh, I'll leave links in the description below to his channel. So um, that's a shout out for him. And hopefully you can go uh, check him out. If you like him, definitely subscribe to him because he does some great stuff. Uh, that being said, his challenge, once again, or the open tag is the knife that broke you. And by that, he means what's the knife that got you into the knife community as far as like knife collecting or just being a knife junkie, I guess. Um, because I feel like saying you're a knife collector can mean a couple different things depending on, on how you see or use your knives. Um, personally, I am a collector in the regards that I am more of a user and I'm on a quest to find the perfect knives for me uh, for the situations that I find myself in. So that being said... Two, I also just enjoy uh, the knives as tools and um, just knowing how our culture and our history of humankind has revolved around surviving by way of the knife and how it has made tools and stuff for us. I find it to be a very important uh, piece of equipment that we have used throughout history. And so I'm fascinated by it. And I just like the variety of knives. So that being said, I am a knife user, and I collect them, and I'm a knife reviewer. And I'm going at this more or less as the perspective of what's the knife that got me into reviewing knives on YouTube. Um, so that being said, first off, I was in Scouts, and this is the very first knife that had any sort of value to me. Um, besides, you know, my dad, you know, I'd collect like a little... Uh, fake Bowie knife from the Alamo or something when I was younger, but this is the one I got in Scouts for selling Christmas wreaths. Um, it's a Victorinox Tinker. I've had it since I was 12 years old, so it's over 20 years old. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, but it's awesome. Still in pretty dang decent condition for how much I used it, and I lost it for a number of years. But this wasn't the knife that broke me. This is the the knife I used the most when I was younger. Um, and the knife that I got after watching a bunch of YouTube videos, starting off with like nothing fancy and whatnot, um, was actually the Spyderco Manix 2. At the time, you know, Spyderco was just this name in the knife community that was like, oh my god, I gotta get a Spyderco. It's either that or like a, a Sabenza, a Chris Reeves Sabenza. But I was like, no way in heck am I ever going to be able to afford a Sabenza. I still can't afford a Sabenza. But, um, that being said, a Spyderco was on the list. And at the time, the Spyderco Manix 2, I was able to get for like 70 bucks. And it was the blue translucent one with the BD1 blade steel. And I liked it. And I thought it was really neat. And I was pretty amazed at how light it was. But and it was kind of like the, the first meaningful higher-end knife that I ever owned. But it really didn't do it for me. Like, I still appreciate it, but it wasn't the one that I considered to be the one that broke me. And eventually, I did more research. And this was the knife that got me into knife reviewing. And um, it was the Bird Raven 2. Uh, and I haven't necessarily get taken as good a care of this guy as much as I should have. I'm a pretty busy guy. But this is the knife that I did the research. I got it. I used it. I loved it. I reviewed it. And it was my very first uh, knife review on this channel. And to me, this is the one that broke me. This is the one that I got. And I was like so impressed with just the design and the quality and the features and the feel and the fact that not many people knew about it at the time when I did the review and not many people like handled it, I was just in love and it got me hooked. And from then on, I just uh, have been hooked kind of ever since. And like I said, I'm a backpacker. I work at a butcher shop. So, I mean, I use knives 
daily. Um, and this one I did use a lot, and it's still in uh, really good condition for that. But yep, Spetterco, or no, the <laughs> Bird Raven 2 is the one that broke me. And it, it's gotten me to the point where I've owned $300 knives or $200 knives. Um, and usually they're not necessarily the ones that I like to go for. Um, but, you know, it's led me to other knives, some Kershaw knives, uh, up until getting uh, some Benchmades that I like. So that's the one, the Bird Raven 2. And to this day, I still think that this is one of the best, absolute best bangs for your buck uh, when it comes to pocket knives. Um, so I'll leave a link in the description below once again for Slicey Dicey's channel and the original uh, tag. And then I'll also leave a link uh, to where you can pick up your own Bird Raven 2 if you're interested. Uh, highly recommend it. All right. Thank you, guys. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the other videos. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you outside. Thank you.